You rang? Hey, Duck. <clears throat> Look, I think I'm too sick to go to PAX this year. Oh, come on! I missed it last year! I don't want to miss it again. Well, no one says you, you can't just go yourself. Really? Yeah. Just take the train. You guys will be fine. Just take my pass. Awesome! And don't worry about you. I'll, uh, I'll tell Tube Guy everything you need to know to take care of yourself. So you'll be good as new and properly alive. Woohoo! So yeah, the train leaves in an hour. We gotta go. But have you left him instructions so that he does not die? Oh, I don't have time for that. I outsourced it to my Indian, African, Australian, Antarctican, Southeast Indies counterpart. Well, with Dr. Ivoltron? Yeah, I think it's so funny. Let's go! The gaming Atlantis of Boston or something. Yeah, we were here last year. You shut your face. Where did Batman go? Go oh, Batman, it's double Batman news. We'd like to ask you a few questions if we might. Do I need my lawyer? No. Well, maybe, no. Well, you have your webcomic, and you've been contributing to X credits yep. recently, but inquiring minds want to know. What's the capital of Bolivia? Salmon. Salmon, the fish? Yes. The species of fish? Is it all fish or is it just like uh, one particular salmon? I think the uh, Canadian salmon? Mm. That's the thing, right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We don't know fish. We no, just know justice. Allergic to fish? Yeah. All fish? Salmon, mostly. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Oh, check this place out. This is fancy. Hey guys, check this out! Look, look! There's a telephone right next to the toilet! Oh man, I'm gonna make so many phone calls you won't even- Dude, no pad. Hello? <laughs> Who was that that called? I believe it was Dabalese, King of the Ocean. Oh. We'd like to uh, ask you a few questions if we might. Alright, alright, Batman. Sure. Now, no, uh. Batman. Oh, don't, don't make that mistake. My, my, my like Sorry about that. Uh, so, you know, you've have got started several comics. You know, Chainsaw Suit being the flagship series, I would assume. Yeah. But, uh. People of the world want to know, do you think I'd look good with a beard? Do I think what? Do you think we'd look good with a beard? I think that the thing is that the beard, depending on how you cut it, people might be able to figure out who you are. Ooh. You may want to have one of you with the beard and the other one without, and that throws people off. Well, why would one of us? That, that makes no sense. No, that just, you just totally blew our minds, man. Blah. Way cuter than him. Uh, so, what kind of doctor are you? Dr. McEndry. Ah, I'm Dr. Eyeballtron. Do you that? specialize in eyes? No. Yeah. Hmm. What do you got written down there? Well, it's, uh, it's just a seaport hotel. I was using it as a prescription pad. Ooh. Which is kind of illegal. Don't do that. Hmm. Mm. I write prescriptions. Yes. I write prescriptions for M and M's and uh, you know soft cheeses. Soft of cheese cheeses are good for you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's good. Me. <laughs> double Batman. Double Batman news. Double Batman. Exactly. What are you? You may be Double Batman, but I'm Political Batman. What's Political Batman? <laughs> of political. I am of the Bat Party. Oh. As you can see, I'm running for Gotham City Mayor. And I thought this place would be a good spot in which to run my campaign. Okie dokie then. Um, Batman. 
Yes, do you still have billions of dollars? Indeed I do. Ah, what do you need to be mayor for? Just make a city. Make a bat city. I'll make a city of all bat. Yes. There will be no crime. Yes. Don't no more running fear. Only bats. Only bats. I like it. Thank you. Let's do it. Why didn't you get diet? Aren't you like 100% sugar or something? James Turner, Double Batman from Double Batman News. We have questions to ask you. Okay. Now, we know about your association with Loading Ready Run, and you are undoubtedly the handsomest member. That's and true. you've been quoted as having been said, James Turner gets stuff done. But inquiring minds want to know, we're gonna get a good bite to eat in this place. I mean, we are starving. That's a weird question. You're like weird. Your, I don't think I like your tone, Double Batman. You're weird. No, you're weird. I'm perfectly normal. You are two Batmans strung together. D don't be racist. That's weird. That's not racist. What race are you? D Double Batman? D D no, doesn't work. <laughs> uh, so I did our, our budgeting and uh, this sausage has to last us for the next two days. Halo 4? That only came out! We're, um, we play a thing called Game of Adventures, which is a two-train adventure, plus we're mm -hmm. not playing it uh, on your iPhone or Android devices or tablets. So it's an interactive story where you are um, choosing the path of the story, uh, but you have a couch, you have dice, you have small dice, like monsters, different stuff. Have ice cream? Pardon? Have ice cream? Uh, no ice cream. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Oh. I can put ice cream in if you want me to. Hey! But I don't think, you know, I don't know whether it'd fit in your mouth or not. It's quite small. Hey! And that's why the eyes are the sexiest part of the body, in my opinion. That's a. Uh. uh ooh. Natural Selection 2 is a real-time strategy game combined with a first-person shooter. Two asymmetrical sides, an alien side and a marine side. On both sides, one player looks down at the battlefield in a real-time strategy perspective, like in StarCraft or Command & Conquer. The difference is, in Natural Selection 2, an order given to one of those units on the ground is an order given to a real person playing the game with you. Cool! Would you like one? treat today. We've got the pinnacle of gaming excitement here right now. The Jaguar! Oh, we're going to have so much fun! So tell me about your game. Okay. Here we're talking about Mind Magic 10. We to the roots of the original Mind Magic RPG series that started the whole Mind Magic IP in 1986. Nice. Does it have ice cream? Uh, I don't know if you're familiar already with the Mind Magic series, but this is like turn-based, first view, RPG, party of adventurers, very classic, old school stuff. Mm. And that's what we call this game legacy. It's really going back to the roots of the series and making an to the games that used to be very popular in the 1990s. Oh nice! Is there ice cream? Sorry? Is there ice cream in it? Ice cream? Ah. <laughs> yeah, they sure like leeches in this book. How old is this first aid book? And I do not sell any Robert Patterson. That would look cool. I don't have any Twilights. Yeah. No! Well, I've got one. Hold on. <laughs> oh, wow. What is this? Truck Rob, obsessed. You say so far? Trust me. It's It'll fine. change your life. This is the first time that I've really awesome. Well, I can't yeah, wait to read it. I can't wait like, to sparkle with this. Oh, oh, we will sparkle all day. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm a wimp. No, the difficulty should be called. I'm playing on a jet. Excuse me, Double Batman from Double Batman News here. <laughs> We'd like to ask you a question, if you will mind. Uh, you know, we know that you are greatly involved in The Escapist, well, the internet's premier uh, destination for news, videos, etc. But we were wondering, 
Hmm. You know, we had a question and it just left us. Ooh. Don't you hate that? That's just the worst. That's the question now. It's a little Don't you hate it when it leaves you? It's a little embarrassing. I feel a little shame on the inside. I feel no. like less of a person. No, I don't. I feel like two people as well, always. Well, that's probably best. Yes. Excellent for your self-esteem, having two of you. <laughs> yes. yes. We have great self-worth. Excellent. Oh, so what's going on here? Uh, we're making a game called Escaping Tide. It's a 3D action sci-fi RPG game. Uh, it's since it's 3D and we're trying to undercut our budget, we're trying to outsource some of our animations out to some people. People on the con today. So people uh, come in, do a 30 second silly pose, silly action, a serious conversation with nobody. Comes in and uh, they get famous. It gets on our website, we vote for it, they like our animation, put it in our game. No questions asked. I'll do it. Controller that's already plugged in? Excuse me, Double Batman, Double Batman News. We'd like to ask you a few questions if we might. Okay. Now, Liz, we know uh, you've been uh, part of Damn It Liz Productions for many long times. You being the Liz in the Liz title. But inquiring minds want to know. What was in that sandwich I ate? I mean, we're not feeling so good right now. We've got a lot of grumbly feelings. Oh, oh my god, did you have the steak sandwich in the convention center? Because you're not supposed to do that. Uh, um, we're not feeling so good. Maybe that was it. Maybe it was that other burger. And then there was the soda and the chips and the fries and the... Maybe we just overate. There is two of us, though. You're eating for two. Well, yes. We always do. Always at all times. Everything's for two. We eat for two, sleep for two, we play pool for two. It's very good. Good for the exercise. All right. You know where the ladies' room is? <laughs> Wait a minute. Burn! 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 What's up? Hey, let's try this one for science. Ah, the age-old question. Should I play as aliens, predators, or people who suck? Which one's fire? There we go. Oh, oh, these controls are horrible. Wait a minute. I'm being hit. Take that! Take that! And then! And this! What is that? What did I just do? Uh, I had to cocoon the enemy. How do I do that? Go! I completed it! Oh, the game's over. Well, I hope you enjoyed my let's play of Aliens vs. Predator. Oh, goodbye! Excuse me, Double Batman from Double Batman News here. We'd like to ask you a few questions if we might. Sure. Now, you guys are the progenitors of the Let's Play phenomenon, but inquiring minds want to know, should you put pickles in potato salad? Pickles? I didn't agree to that, no. Yes, you should. Okay. These use revolving doors. I suppose these doors are locked then, eh? Okay, oh, oh, I guess not. You, you guys can sit. You don't have to stand all day. Um, you know how hard it is to get us to stand at all? You've got four legs, what are you complaining about? Yeah. We'd like to ask you a few questions if we could. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, your music is known all over the world, especially in our circles around here, but we have just one question for yeah. you. Uh-huh. Uh, what was the name of the guy in uh, Simon Birch, the really short guy. Simon Birch? Yeah. Well, no, 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 that wasn't it. No, the, the guy's name, not the actor's name. Uh, the guy, the character's name? No, no, the, 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 the actor. The short oh, guy. I have no idea. No. Oh. Uh, Dang, I'll ask someone else. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, what do you recommend as they uh, enforce the uh, for foot pain? Like one large foot? Um. Insoles? Gel insoles. Mm -hmm. And now 
we all please join me to look at the most rare thing you'll ever see at any PAX. If you'll come with me, right here, an unoccupied chair. It's amazing. Well, we say good night to another day at PAX East. Good night. Innumerable 10th Doctor Colts plays. Good night. That one game I couldn't beat. Good night. Drunk guy who wouldn't show the guys his badge. Good night. Yeah. Oh, performance snack, eh? Well, perform! I'm waiting. So, how was the card? I lost nine eyes in transit! I can barely see you! Oh yeah, you uh... You're not looking so hot. Well, you know what? Serves you right, because you gave me that stupid advice. Uh, I, I bought like 500 bucks of leeches on uh, Amazon.com. I think it's the first time anything from Amazon.com came from the actual Amazon. So, hope you're happy, because we're going to be eating leeches for the next like 300 years. We're going to be having uh, leech ice cream. <laughs> Minds want to know, what number am I thinking of right now? Six. Wrong. Wait. No. It's right. Yes. 